it is so good to see you. We've missed each other for two weeks now. Well, I have heard from all of the pre-K teachers that you have been working on noticing how people feel. And, hmm, I learned that you know two ways to tell how someone is feeling. The first clue that you learned about someone and how they feel is by looking for clues on a person's face. Yes, you said it. And then the other way is to focus attention on what's happening. Hmm. So today, I wonder what's happening to Jenny. She's got a lot going on. Maybe you can tell. Jenny, tell me what happened. Well, I was eating my snack. The water spilled and it got my shirt all wet. And the others laughed at me too. Oh, it's hard when others laugh at you. And it's hard when your shirt gets all dirty and wet. Well, class, how do you think Jenny feels? Hmm, I hear mad, sad, angry. Oh yeah, she's kind of feisty. Well, if you had the same idea, clap two times. Yes, I'm so mad. It feels so yucky to have my shirt all wet. Yes, Jenny, a wet shirt is very uncomfortable, sweetheart. I know. And feeling mad is an uncomfortable feeling, too. Because feeling mad, like right now, you're all shaking, can make your body feel very, very hot and very, very tight. Mm. My face feels really hot and mm -hmm. tight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm so sorry, Jenny. Oh my goodness. And you know what? It's okay to feel angry. It's okay to feel mad. Yep, we all have these feelings, even though it feels so uncomfortable inside. Mm -hmm. That's all right. Everyone feels angry sometimes, but you know what is great? Even if you're feeling angry and uncomfortable, you did not say mean things right? And you did not say hurtful things to other friends who even laughed at you. And that is really, really good. So, would you like for me to dry your shirt? Yes, please. Oh. Thank you. Oh, and she said, thank you. Boys and girls, we all get very, very mad, but it is important that when we are mad and we are uncomfortable, we still do the right thing. All right, we'll see you later.